physically, no. Uh, physically, I'm in no danger. Uh, but mentally, spiritually, uh, you know, am I going to be in a different state of mind? Am I going to come back and view the world differently? I don't know. Um, I've read where people come out of this flotation therapy and see the world different. So I have no idea what to what to expect. But it's almost like taking an hallucinogen or a psychedelic drug you know spiritually people can't go into these things and come out different they view the world different and that's what I'm really kind of anxious about this whole process so whenever your senses are turned off I want to see what the mind does and I want to be able to look inside my own mind my own spirit whatever and see what else is out there you know I'm excited to, to just get this experience under my belt hey it's Chris and Brian with Jones Brothers Realty at Keller Williams Realty today we're here at Buoyance North Carolina's premier salt flotation massage and relaxation spa that's right for those of you who know me you know how excited I am to be here I've always wanted to try the sensory deprivation tank also known as the flotation tank so Cecil, why don't you tell the viewers, what is flotation therapy? Well, it's an isolation from the realities of life. You go to a place that you don't normally go to, you're out of the reach of any type of communication with uh, other areas, uh, your phones are off, everything is gone, you're floating amongst uh, 1,200 pounds of magnesium sulfate. So it makes you somewhat feel like you're in gravity in the middle of nowhere. It's totally dark. Uh, you can't hear anything, you can't see anything, so again, it's a deprivation of senses. Uh, all five senses no longer work. And so when your senses don't work, that means you're allowed to go to places in your mind that you don't normally become familiar with. So one hour in the tank is worth four hours of a deep meditative sleep. Uh, some people also call it a time machine. They get in, they think they've only been there for about two minutes, they come out, it's an hour and a half later. It's a real cool way of leaving the planet without doing anything uh, illegal. <laughs> anyway. Uh, that's, that's a good way to put it. So what other services do you offer? Uh, master esthetician. She does facials, waxing, microdermabrasion, all the increments that you can do in that field. Uh, I myself practiced sports massage for 20 years. I've been a therapist 25 years. I was also an acupuncturist, also a PA. So. Uh, we do a lot of clinical work here as far as massage goes. We do prenatal, postnatal. We also do improvements of Eastern work. Um, moxibustion, twin eye, gua sha, cupping, all the good things you can do yourself without harm. Good stuff, that's awesome. Um, I'm gonna cut this segment short because I have to get in there. I, I cannot wait any longer, so come follow me, camera guy. How was it, man? It was good. It was really good. It was really intense. I wouldn't recommend it if you if you haven't practiced meditating at all, because uh, at least for me, if you have um, anxiety about closed spaces, I would definitely try the other one first. The the other one that he has. That um, was open. That was that was open. Uh, this one I was locked inside, or not locked inside, but I shut this. And it was really hot. Um, Obviously, the water is, is 97 degrees. Um, I, now, a pool is like 80-something degrees, right? Yeah. Depends on the pool. But uh, this was really... Um, I had to get out about 30 minutes into it because um, I got water, like, in my, in my eye almost. So, um, as I moved around, my perspiration, the sweat rolled down in my eye so I tried to get it with my hand even though he told me not to do that and my eyes were burning so I had to get up and that that interfered with uh, a lot of the because there for a while I was I was feeling really relaxed and really great and I was starting to see like a meditation practice like when you practice meditating you see different colors and everything and I was seeing different colors with my eyes open uh, there's no difference between your eyes open and your eyes shut. It's, it's there's an absence of light. There's no light in there whatsoever, so it doesn't really matter. But I was seeing designs in, in different colors. But once I moved my head and got the perspiration down and touched it and the sweat, 
I actually had to get out and go grab a towel because my eyes were burning. So that kind of that did interfere with um, with the practice. Also, my mind was wandering uh, the majority of the time. But overall, I mean, I feel great right now. <laughs> it was really relaxing. Um, my 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 whole body is just like. You can probably you can probably hear it in my voice. I, I'm, I'm I feel really relaxed right now. Really relaxed.